Hello, I'm Ashley from Triple English, an online platform for learning communicative English simply, effectively, and successfully for everyone. Today, I will show you five simple ways to remember English vocabulary forever. These are the techniques for learning new words that I have shown thousands of students. And in this video, you will see exactly how to apply the five ways to memorize vocabulary successfully right after the first week. Okay, let's get started. After publishing videos about self-studying English on our YouTube channel, we've received lots of comments. About a third of them are the questions, how do you remember the words? And how do you learn the words once without forgetting them? When reading your comments, I remember first being in Vietnam a year ago. I had the same excitement to explore the culture, try the new dishes, as well as learn Vietnamese. And I swear it was incredibly hard. Come on. Xin chào. Tôi thích mầm tôm. Yeah, tough, but not impossible to learn. And when asked about how to remember English vocabulary, I'm happy to talk about my own experiences in learning Vietnamese vocabulary. This may seem strange, but the methods I'm sharing right now can be applied for learning any language, not only English. So, without further ado, let's check out the first rule, which is imagine the meaning of the word. This means when you hear or read a new word, after translating it, you need to immediately associate it with a thing that you are familiar with. This is because our brains tend to memorize images better than words. Linking the images with the words will help you to remember the words quicker and longer. It doesn't matter how silly or weird the images are, as long as you yourself find them interesting. For example, with the word butterfly. We know it is a butterfly, but it could be a flying piece of butter. Or with Skyscraper, I love action movies, especially Marvel movies, so each time I use the word Skyscraper, I think of the Stark Tower in Avengers. Because it's such an iconic building, it really helps me to remember the word. New words can be memorized quicker and longer, the funnier and more bizarre your imagination is. Ultimately, by drawing the pictures that pop up, you will definitely never forget the vocabulary. So, you've got the first method, which is imagining the meaning of the word. Now let's move on to the second, repetition. This isn't new, I know, but it is one of the most effective ways of all time, right? No matter what you learn, it could be playing an instrument, singing, playing football. You always have to repeat the action every day. For example, when I was younger, I played the flute. I was terrible. I was so terrible, my music teacher asked me not to play at our school concert. But I didn't let that get me down. I practiced every morning and every night. And by the time the school concert came, I was able to play because I proved that I had improved playing the flute. So you can do this too with language. Learning vocabulary is just like that. If you are constantly reading, writing, and using the words in conversation that you've learned, then you will definitely remember them. For example, Let's talk about the phrase, look for, which means search. To link the definition of this phrase quickly, 
apply the first rule that I've just shared. Imagine the image related to the word search. Because I always lose my keys, I would think that I'm looking for my keys. Then, write the phrase a few times. But don't just write the phrase and its definition. You should make some sentences with it. Making sentences helps us turn things we've learned into action. The brain also has a chance to apply this to the learning process. And therefore, we won't forget such words in the future. So I will write a few simple sentences such as, I am looking for my key. Mary is looking for the book while her husband is cooking. David, can you help me look for my ring? I can't see it anywhere. Next, you need to say the sentence out loud. By listening to your own voice along with your mouth's movement, you will strengthen the connection between the words and your brain. Another tip is to use online dictionaries. Two trustworthy ones are Oxford and Cambridge. These websites have sample pronunciation so you can easily pronounce the words with best accuracy. Don't stop there. Remember to speak out loud the sentences you've just written as well. In doing so, you will remember both the words and the context of the words at the same time. In case you encounter similar situations in the future, like losing your keys, you will be able to immediately use the phrase look for since it's now available in your memory. Fantastic, right? And if you want to speak English fluently after just one week, Watch until the end of the video because I've got a small gift for you. Okay, the third rule that I'm about to share right here will surely excite you all. And that is, surround yourself with an English environment by reading and listening a lot. It is a fact that you will shortly learn a language when you are in a place full of natives because you'll be hearing and reading that language every day. But not everyone gets a chance to study abroad or settle down in an English native speaking country. And that's okay because you don't need to in order to increase your vocabulary. In fact, to put it simply, I would suggest combining your interests with English resources like movies, TV programs, books, or even news sites. For example, if you love to travel, you could watch English TV programs that talk about discovering new lands or show cultures from around the world. My favorite personally is the Discovery Channel. And if reading is your interest, why don't you read about your favorite topic? For example, for those of you who like fashion and are passionate about seeing the trends, magazines like the W Magazine or Vogue would be my recommendations. For those of you who are into sports or the news, you can check out pages like mirror.co.uk or the Washington Post. In this day and age, you are free to choose from a variety of TV series, reality shows, and English songs that usually have subtitles. Usually, situations seen or heard in these productions are relatable to daily life and a good way to see how the vocabulary is used in context. Every time you hear or read a new word, Please quickly write it down, look it up in the dictionary, and apply all of the steps I've just shared to master the word. By repeating this listening, reading, and writing process, you will build your vocabulary as well as improve your grammar structure 
and it will become second nature. Second nature? What does that mean? If something is second nature to you, it means that you are so familiar with it that you can do it easily without needing to think very much about it. You're actually creating an English environment right now. By watching this video, you're learning a great deal of vocabulary and grammar, right? Okay, let's move on to number four, which is using flashcards. You will find that there are many types of flashcards sold on the internet and in the bookstore. They are small pieces of paper with a word written on the front and its meaning and sentences written on the back. You can use already made flashcards. I personally prefer to use my own flashcards because I can write the word that is specific to what I need and then also read the word so it's double the practice. It's very simple to make them. All you need is colored or white paper and you just cut them up into small pieces as you can see. Big enough so that you can write the word on one side, the definition on the other side, and don't forget to write a sentence so that you can put the word into context. You can see more clearly in this picture. Make sure you're practicing every day. The great thing about flashcards is that they're small and easy to take anywhere. Whether you're on the bus, waiting for someone, or maybe you're bored at home, you can just take out your flashcards and start studying them. Simple. Don't forget to say the word and the sentences containing that word out loud. Tip number two, repeat. Do you remember? Okay, so I've talked about four super easy ways to memorize vocabulary. The fifth way that I'm going to share can be somewhat difficult, but will bring you a lot of benefits. To enhance your vocabulary, you should remember word families. When you learn a new word, try not to just learn the word by itself. Try related words. Here's the deal. There are a lot of words that you get a few more words related just by changing some letters. We call that word family. For example, you have product, add the suffix I-O-N, and you have production. If you replace the T in product by E, you have produce. Add an R to produce and you have producer. Great, right? Their meanings are nearly the same, so you remember them easily without spending a lot of time. As mentioned previously in the video, you just need to look these words up in the dictionary. Online dictionaries make it very easy to do this. All you have to do is type the first two letters in the application. Then it will display the word that seems similar to the word you are looking for. In addition, you will also find the adjective, verb, or adverb form of the word. Don't hesitate to add these words to the word family. Remembering the different forms will not only help you in grammatical exercises, but also when communicating. It's best to learn a maximum of five words per day. And then once you feel more confident, you can add more words. Okay, so you've got five ways to help you remember English words. Have you learned interesting things from this video? Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here and click the bell right next to it so you don't miss any videos from Triple English. And now it's your turn. To get a set of materials to practice speaking English and to improve after just one week, click on the additional section and click on the link right here. Next time when learning new words, will you use repetition or will you use flashcards to help you remember them? 
please let us know by leaving a comment down below. Great. So, uh, if you re so I think I should say if you replace the T in product by E. Number one. Did I already say let's recap?